trying to excite the, the gamers. As soon as we saw the opportunity in the project, we just knew we, we, we had to get involved. The challenge I was set by Ben was to make his concept art come alive. It's, it's what makes the piece stand out and it's going to really make people set up and take notes of it. Well, I'm a gamer myself. This is definitely a, a, a universe that I can recognize and I can, you know, really dive into and, and like every bit and detail and uh, aspect of it. So it was, it was great fun to be, to be let loose in that world, you know. Working with Chair was uh, almost like an experience that I've never had before. Yeah, the experience with Chair was great. They were, it was possibly the best client relationship we've had. They really let us into the project and one of the really big things that they let us do was uh, redesign the look of the characters into Ben's style. They were very keen and excited and interested in kind of uh, expanding uh, the visual look and feel of the um, Infinity Blade universe. It's always a challenge to get the right balance and keep that real illustrative feel to Ben's work. And I've kind of come in and tried to get all these guys to try to completely reimagine how to use these tools. How do we kind of like, you know, not flatten it, but how do we get some of these more 2D kind of lines and textures and, and painterly quality, uh, you know, and how do we kind of keep that all on screen at all time. All the animation was done in 3D with 3D models, but the VFX were a combination of 3D elements and 2D animation, which we decided was the best route because it would really give us the look that Ben wanted. Hand painting the textures to suit the render style. We knew as soon as we did that, it was going to look like Ben wanted. The challenge on that front was for the artists, really. Um, I think we were lucky because we'd worked on similar projects with Ben in the past. So we had tools in place, um, so we tried different things, but the artists did a great job at creating that vision. The game itself is such a rich backstory. Uh, such a range of characters. You know, they have a great mythology, they have great designs, uh, you know, aside from the gameplay, I mean, all of uh, which is making for great kind of storytelling. And when you're given uh, such a tight uh, duration, you know, two minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes, you really try to figure out what's the essence of the story. And I think you want to, to, to find another angle and to just create, a, a, you know, something that it is uh, new and, and, uh, and exciting, but at the same time you have to keep the characters that everybody knows from previous uh, games uh, recognisable. This is the uh, probably sixth project we've done with Ben. We've been working with him since 2005, so it's uh, always a pleasure to, to get to work with him. He's definitely one of the more fun directors to work with. Ben has a great creative vision. He knows very well what he wants, and his artwork reflects that. Uh, Axis and I have worked, you know, on a couple of projects before, and uh, and we've uh, on every one of these projects we've kind of concentrated on, on our efforts uh, to try to almost kind of break down the process of, uh, of what generally goes into making you know very very elaborate you know photorealistic CG kudos to them they've had uh, um, you know incredible results I think with with uh, some of the techniques they've employed and it's always great fun to work with them because they have they have all the tools and creative minds to to, to play around with all these ideas those crazy ideas mm -hmm.